Holy shit. Look at this. I am currently in Hobart, Tasmania, and I'm down here for the week because there's a racing event called Baskerville Historics, and I've been asked to come down and film the entire week. Now, because it's a big job, I've got Liam over here, who I've brought over as well, who's gonna help me film the entire event. But one of the main things is that we don't actually know the location of where we need to be filming, and on top of that, we don't actually know what time we need to be there too. I'm gonna call my manager, Ben, who's organized this whole event, and I'm gonna ask him where we, where the fuck we actually need to go, and what time we need to be there. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm the phone right now. Okay, so he didn't pick up. Worst case scenario, tomorrow morning, we'll just go to the racetrack and see what happens. Liam and I are about to head over to the racetrack, but we realize we're not gonna get too far if we don't have a car to get us to the place. So I walked into the hotel that we're staying at and asked if they did car rentals, and they did, but they couldn't rent us anything really great because of our age. So <laughs> check out the car that we got. We just got to the racetrack now and there's so much awesome machinery here. All we need to do pretty much is just film the general vibe of the event, cars coming out of the pits, cars racing, all that kind of shit, and then we're done. Just finished up at the racetrack now, and now for sunset, Liam and I are gonna go head over to this place called Gordon Dam. I left my controller on the fucking roof of the car when we were packing up my drone equipment and shit and we heard a knocking on the roof. I'm like, is that your controller? I'm like, nah, I packed it in my bag. I literally look behind me and my controller flies out of the <laughs> fucking roof. I'm freaking out. Yeah, it fell off around the corner there, I remember. There it is. Oh my God, it has not been crushed. Just fucking put, your, put the hazards on. It's not crashed! Yeah, it's fine! <laughs> we just put the hat on. Fuck him, mate. Idiot! I should never leave anything on the roof of your car, and you actually told me that. So that's a lesson I've learned. Never, ever, ever put anything on the roof of your car, ever. Fuck that. Anyway, Gordon Dam was built in 1974 and stands 140 meters high. It can hold up to 12.4 million milliliters, which makes this Australia's largest water catchment area. Which, if you ask me, is pretty fucked up. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking water. Anyway, Liam and I are about to go check it out tonight. We've just arrived here now at Gordon Dam. This landscape is probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit. Look at this. That's actually fucked. That's so beautiful. share with you guys two of my favorite photos I took on this trip. So the first image I took was taken from the lookout point of the dam. And I really love this image because you can see the entire size of the dam, all the water, the whole landscape, the mountains in the background. I think this photo gives a really good understanding of what the place actually was like. If I compare that photo to the second image, I would say I'd rather the first image because the second photo doesn't actually show off as much depth as the lookout point image. When I was walking down the stairs, obviously I took 
took this photo down towards the walkway of the actual dam itself. So you just can't see as much of the water, you can't really see as much landscape, and you can't actually see the size and depth of the dam, which is obviously the main point of the image. However, I do really love the yellow contrast on the steps of this image because I think it's a really good contrast between the blues and greens of the image. One thing that I really wanted to make sure when I was photographing this particular location, and any location for that matter, is that I made sure that I wanted to spend as much time as I needed to get the shots that I wanted to get. If it takes you one hour to get one photo, well then, it takes you one hour to get one photo. And that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with spending a bit more time photographing a spot because that's pretty much the reason why you're there in the first place is because you wanna make sure that the time that you spend there is spent correctly. And also because we like traveled three and a half hours to get there and I wanted to make sure I didn't fuck up so I got all the good shots I needed before I left and I didn't wanna regret not getting enough photos that I was happy with. So just remember, when you are out photographing a location, take your time, take a step back, Look at your surroundings, look at everything, take a deep breath and make sure that you take the right image. That's something to keep in mind. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope I taught you something new. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time.